Hey you, yes you, do you like adorable fursuits? Do you want to see new adorable fursuits that you may not know about? Well you come to the right place. Hi, my name is Bjorn Valentine and I hope you're having a dandy day. Today I'm going to do one of the most generic things that a furry YouTuber can do and that is talk about fursuits, especially their most favorite ones. Now these are my top 10 favorites, there's no particular order. I do have a number one favorite fursuit, but all the other ones are just ones I very much appreciate, that I just love to death, all right? So I'm gonna go in alphabetical order and save my ultimate favorite fursuit for last. My first favorite fursuit is named Ace. Ace is a original character made by the person who owns the suit, and it was made by Cluster Fuzz Creations. I love unique fursuits that just have some very different and unique style that really stands out. Original characters are a really big thing for me. I'm a huge fan of it. I love the color. I can't imagine how good the ventilation and the vision is in that thing. I love the color scheme and apparently this is going to be a open species once they finish out all the kinks and stuff and they'll post it online. If you're looking for their Instagram, um, their name is ace.gif on Instagram. I will be linking everyone's Instagrams I'm listing today in the description below, by the way. But from what I know, Ace is a alien species, I believe? Don't quote me, I may be wrong, but I believe that Ace is a alien species, and all I know is that I plan on making a character as soon as it is fully public and they have all the lore worked out. Up next, we have Astrid, a spider. Yes, a spider partial. I saw this up for sale as a pre-made at one point, I'm pretty sure. I think it was. And I fell in love with it at first sight. Uh, I love the concept of it being a spider. I'm absolutely terrified of spiders. But I just think the suit is so adorable and so cute and it's so unique. The person who made Astrid, owned by someone on Instagram named Scooper Duper. The person who made Astrid is Mothsicle Suits give him a lookout. I just love this concept of it being a spider. I love the little, I like what they use for the tail. I think that's a really cool concept. I don't know if they plan on making it so it has multiple arms, but just as a partial, I love it. I'm a big fan of partials. You're gonna find that out real quick. Okay, this one's a little bit unfair because we have a duo and I consider them to be a pair, hence why I put them together. Um, we have the amazing Gizmo and Gadget. You may have seen them somewhere at a con or something like that. They're very, very outgoing and energetic people. They go to my local meet, actually, and I love them every single time. If you notice, they're interchangeable. They are dragon bunnies. They have interchangeable ears. They have interchangeable wings and tails. They have so many things that are interchangeable on their suits. And by the way, they made the suits themselves. They're known as poof suits. They're a amazing duo. They also, you can commission them for art. If I recall from my 1000 uh, subscriber video, I commissioned Poof Suits to make the art for the thumbnail for that video. I love it. It's even the sticker that I give to my patrons on Patreon. You get a little sticker of me sitting at my desk with the actual microphone that I use. Poof Suits, they're incredible, really sweet people give them a look out, follow their Instagram, all that good stuff. Okay, so this one's a little bit trickier. Um, this one is called Hemlock. It is owned by Malibuski. I might be butchering that name, but Malibuski, for er, most people know, they are the very bright and colorful toucan. This is one of their other suits that they owned. Now, I actually messaged them and asked them who made the suit and they have no clue who made the suit. I just love the color scheme. I'm a big fan of the color scheme. I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to be. I don't care. It looks really cool, especially in the photo where it has all the neon lights and stuff. It just makes it pop that much more, especially with the green and that the combination of purple and green to me, that kind of Joker kind of look is just, I just love it. They got them thick old thighs and I love the massive ears. I'm a big fan. And the spiked tail, I just think that's badass, honestly. So I'm a big fan of Hemlock. 
It's Malibuski, and they have no idea who the maker is. If you can find out, leave it in the comment section. I'll add it to the description. Up next, we have Nico, uh, formerly known as Neon Slushy, an amazing artist within the fandom. They also make some YouTube videos. Neon Slushy, as we know, is a autumn falling suit or multicolor bark, whichever you want to call it. I am a huge fan of plush suits. Absolutely huge fan. Um, I'm not into the overly huge ones. This one is just right in my own personal taste. I absolutely love this suit. It is one of the most cute, cute suits I've ever seen. It is really up there with suits that I enjoy. Um, I love the color scheme. I love the pattern that they have on their paw pads and inside their ears and their tongue. I absolutely love that. I love the concept of the character always being sleepy looking and having that kind of pattern on the paws, ears, and tongue. I just absolutely love that. I love their artwork. Just all of the yes. Just so cute. So stupid cute. Give me more. All right, so up next, we have actually a personal friend of mine. They go by the name of Shiro. Shiro is a corgi. I absolutely, when I found this person on Instagram, I instantly fell in love with the suit. They haven't had a full body suit until recently. The person who made Shiro made the head, paws, feet, neck, pillow, the the bot, basically everything was made by Captain Bird Creations. And the bodysuit and nub, the little nub of a tail, was made by themselves. They are a corgi, like I said before. I love the nub of a tail. If you follow them, they do have a TikTok and they are hysterical. They're a really sweet person. I'm a big fan of really big headed suits. I don't know why. And they had the thickest of thighs. When you have thick thighs and a tiny nub for a tail, I think that's completely ridiculously cute. And I love the color scheme. I love the stars. I love everything about this suit. Give me more. All right, so this one's a little bit confusing. A lot of people might not think that this is a fursuit. I consider it to be, I don't care, and a lot of people might consider it to be cosplay because it's based off of their D&D &D character, their Dungeons and Dragons character, but I don't care. This is Rue. They are a Kenku, if you know what a Kenku is. It's basically a, bir uh, a, a bird person or also a raven person or a crow person. Um, they made this themselves. The amount of detail and work that they put into this is incredible. Um, they are known as Ra Bop on Twitter, R-A-H underscore B-O-P. I found this suit. I'm a really big fan of Kenkus. I think Kenkus are one of the coolest species in Dungeons and Dragons. I made a Kenku character. I haven't played as them yet, but I love Kenkus. I love ravens. I love crows. I think they're a really cool underutilized bird within the fandom. It's very hard for me to enjoy a suit where it's as realistic as this. I'm usually not the biggest fan, but this one just did it so right and so perfectly that it just blew my mind when I saw this suit. So, holy crap. I love this. I love the fact that, that it's their D&D &D character. So the next one we have is the adorable Sky Cabot by Thunderhouse Studios. I'm a huge fan of Sky Cabot. I've been following them for quite a bit. They're just too cute. The content that they make is adorable. Just ele uh, elevates how cute the suit is. I can never not look at that suit and go like, that is adorable. The color scheme adorable just white and blue and then the purple eyes that just make them pop is great and the jaw movement that they get from that suit is really good all of the outfits that they have them in even including like the one i just posted in the video they have so much personality when they're wearing the suit i never get tired of it all right so i'm pretty sure a lot of you are also asking for like hey where's a more for less suit well of course i'm gonna have at least one because i do enjoy their suits but I am extremely picky about which ones I like. So we have Zusha Wolf, who is another fellow content creator. Uh, I love Zusha Wolf. I love their content. The only thing I'm really not the biggest fan of is the plastic paw pads. Um, but besides that, the, the color scheme, the pattern that they have on the face and cheeks, the pattern for the eyes, Everything about that suit is just too freaking cute. They have the chunkiest of thighs. I'm a big fan of chunky thighs if you haven't noticed yet. And they seem like the sweetest person in the world and I love their content on YouTube. So there you go. And then we have our number 10 slot, my all time favorite suit. Um, funny enough, it's a partial. I think they are the cutest suitor in the world. We have the incredible MOSFET. 
I have fallen in love with MOSFET from the very beginning. When I first found out about the fandom, MOSFET was my number one favorite, and he still is my number one favorite. MOSFET is made by Furred Up on Twitter, if you don't know. The cutest thing ever. Like, just, just look at this boy. Just look at this boy. The fact that he likes to play with his tail and detach it because his tail has a squeaker, incredible. The fact that he's a hockey fan, which includes me, I'm a huge hockey fan, but the fact that he likes the Bruins upsets me just a little bit. The content that they make is adorable, and I'm a huge fan of Kigus because it is a nice alternative to spending thousands of dollars on a full body suit when you could get away with a Kigu. I think Kigus are adorable, and the one that he has is adorable. Um, I have no idea who made his Kigu. I'm a huge fan of him. I love the content that he makes. I think the suit is adorable. His eyes just draw you in so easily. They're beautiful eyes. And just everything about his suit, I just think he's the cutest thing. And his personality just sells the suit that much more. The fact that he doesn't talk and he's still able to communicate so well and just everything about him in this suit just it takes my breath away i saw him i think he was roaming around at ac 2019 and i was too nervous to even walk up to him even though i know he'd probably be the most uplifting person i saw at the con so there you go that is my top 10 fur suits i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you saw some suits you've never seen before and if you haven't seen them give them a follow look them up i'm leaving all of their information in the description below Give them a look, see, follow them. Some of them have TikToks, look them up. That is pretty much it. If you guys want to tell me about some fursuits, maybe I'll make a second one and update it if I end up seeing a suit I fall in love with. Or I can make a video just about undiscovered fursuiters. That'd be pretty cool in the future, right? Hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, a subscribe, and all that good stuff. I hope you have a dandy day, evening, and good night. See you guys.